Welcome guys to another episode of Quakecraft. Today I'm playing with maximum mouse sensitivity, in case you couldn't tell already. But before we get into it, only 3.2% of my viewers are watching from Canada. If you haven't already, be sure to book your first available flight. Before I actually start doing this challenge, I figured it'd be worthwhile to do a single game just with normal sensitivity beforehand so you could compare it. And of course, as you probably can see, there is a hand cam once again, just because I think it would make this video a lot more interesting if you could actually like see how far the screen is spasming without actually having to move my hand at all. So like I said, this is my regular sensitivity that I use, which is 1150 DPI, if I'm remembering correctly, and then 89 in game. And in a second here, we'll be cranking that up to hyperspeed. I'm going to be leaving my DPI the same. I think that I use a relatively high sensitivity overall for most of the people that I talk to. It seems like most people prefer a lower sense, but I don't know. I've always used a higher sensitivity. It used to be like even higher than this and then I turned it down. Except this time, instead of turning it down, I'm gonna turn it all the way up. Oh, sorry, I use 88. I said 89. I use 88. That's my bad, actually. Let's crank that. Oh my god, hyper speed <laughs> with three exclamation marks. So more than double my old. Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be really, really bad, I think. <laughs> well, for the first game, we ended up in a game that's literally just like three nons, which I think is really good, because I could already tell that this is gonna be way harder than I actually first anticipated. Oh my god. Okay, we're, we're off to a good start here. One kill. I just have to try to tease it as like little as I possibly can. And I think if I move it extremely slowly, just like this, it should be steady enough. Nope. The moment I try to make any sort of jerky movements at all, it's literally just over. I can't, I can't aim. Oh no, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. No, I'm trying to turn down there. I know there's a guy, okay. There we go, one behind me. He's right there. <sighs> just have to slowly, can't make any sort of jumpy movements. You're there. No, don't run away. No, it's gonna be really hard to catch you. Okay, never mind. We're good. It's actually tight right now. 7-7. Seven, seven. I might lose the first try, which I was kind of hoping that I wouldn't. Well, I was expecting that I would, and then with this lobby of, like, three people that I don't know, I kind of expected that I would be okay. Come on, please. No. Oh, this is way too hard. I wonder, like, what percentage of players actually have it set to, like, hyperspeed. I'm sure there must be, like, some people who genuinely, like, play with this on. But I would imagine they have, like, way lower DPI on their overall computer, which would make it a lot more bearable. <laughs> oh god, imagine I turned that up as well. I don't even know what the maximum DPI can be on this mouse. Like, I I'm sure I could go quite high, though, if I wanted to. Which I don't. This is already hard enough. Maybe it's, like, a, a different challenge way in the future where I could set it to hyperspeed and turn my DPI all the way up, like as high as it'll go. If you guys would be interested in that sometime, let me know actually, because that might be something to worth worth trying, because I'm already having quite a bit of difficulty. But I am getting used to it now. I think it's a good thing that I had one sort of calmer game, because I'm getting really used to the hand movements. I just happened to look down like at my hand while I was doing this, and I realized that it's like barely moving at all, like even less than I thought it was. Like, it's gonna look so funny to watch this back on the hand cam, and like, it's just gonna look like a PNG basically for like parts of it. I'm moving it a little bit right there, more than I was beforehand, but a lot of it will look pretty similar, I think, which is gonna look really funny. Also, for those of you guys who saw my only other hand cam video that I've ever done, you might remember that last time I balanced my phone on a wallet and on a banana. I didn't have a banana this time, so instead I just used a measuring cup. <laughs> And it's it's just precariously like balanced. It's literally teetering on the edge of my monitor stand and like tucked under the monitor so it doesn't completely tip over, but it still is like angled enough that it can look down. I'll put a picture of it on screen again like I did last time. Oh god, I keep just accidentally doing 360s and being like, wait, did I just die? Did I just get like respawned somewhere? <laughs> I feel like I'm just like getting lost after running in like a straight line and just turning a little too hard. It's so crazy. Even when I move it super slowly, well, that was a nice setup when they're all like in a line like that. I barely even had to move. Even when I move my mouse super slowly, it still looks like so jittery. All right, we got another four player lobby, which is fine. I want to try to maybe see if I can do some like 360s if I can. Obviously, those two were not, but I want to try to. I want to see if I can make it happen. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I mean, that sort of counts, I think. Where am I? Oh, I'm here. Oh no, I don't know if 360 is even possible. I think it has to be like at least two spins. I can't properly manage just only doing one spin. It has to be more than one. There you, there we go. Oh wait, oh wait. I accidentally did like a perfect 360 there right down the hallway that I was trying to look down. That worked out so well. Just gotta casually sneak past you there. Come on, come on. Keep respawning. Oh no. Dude, I don't know who this Pit Plus person is, but they're good. Whoop. 
I, did, I meant to fall down there, but I just accidentally 180 and came back up. Ooh, if he was forwards a little bit more, that would have been nice. Is there someone there? No, I thought I saw a name tag for some reason. Oh no, it's actually close. It's a close game again. I can't be losing like this. I gotta focus up here. No more 360s. I'll bring it back next game. But I cannot afford to lose this battle. It would mar my reputation. I need what? Oh no, that guy. Going up and down is probably the harder part than going side to side. I've got side to side mostly figured out. Going up and down is a little bit more difficult. Which is actually weird because it's less sensitive going up and down than going side to side. Like side to side, it freaks out whenever I try to move the mouse around. Up and down, it doesn't move as much, but it's just more than it normally would, obviously. Which I guess makes sense because, you know, the monitor is like wider than it is taller. So that's just how these things work. Oh boy. Doesn't make it any easier, even if I know why. If I, even if I know the reason. Oh, that's right. I said I was going to do some 360s and I completely forgot to. I'm just focusing on moving my bows as little as possible. Just AD, AD, back and forth. No aiming whatsoever, only back and forth until they I end up like walking right in front of them. Honestly, not even that bad of a strategy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Two for two, two for two. I'm popping off right now. Let's go. Don't lose it. One kill away. I'm letting it escape me. He's catching up. He's catching up. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I don't even know how many times I just spun. Look how far the railgun goes like into the center of the screen. Oh, I got it to touch. It touches the far side of my monitor. My railgun goes from one side of my monitor all the way to the other. Oh my god. I've never even seen that happen before. And if I spin the other way, it just goes completely off the screen, which is also funny. I'm a little bit behind already because I was just messing around there at the start, but that's okay. Should be able to bring it back here. Here we go. Here's a spin move. No, okay. I said I, I said to stop spinning and then I immediately started spinning again. I want to hit the 360s. I just don't want to lose because I'm trying to do it, you know? <laughs> Such is the dilemma of life. Oh, oh, oh god, oh god. <laughs> Sometimes I just for a split second, I'll like forget that I shouldn't be moving my mouse so far and then I just spin like a million times and instantly get lost again. <laughs> I say this as I'm about to lose, but honestly, this isn't like as terrible as I thought it would be, I guess, question mark. It kind of helps out that I don't have to move my mouse as much. It's not quite like PvP where you're more moving your mouse compared to moving your body. In Quake, you can move your body around like a lot more. I was gonna say something, then I forgot it. I wanna go for more spin moves. I'm gonna go all the way up here, take the long way around here, and then guy up there. Oh, that was so close, come on. Oh, well, I respawned back up here anyway. We got another chance here. There's like one guy there at mid. Oh, he got killed right before I got here, I think. I don't even know, man. I'm just messing around at this point. It's not going well. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't even realize it even it even speeds up the Optifine zoom. Oh, that's really weird. Yo, this is another good map to try to get a trick shot on. Oh, like that right there would have been really nice. Pulled the rug under my feetsies. I'm not a big fan of that. Oh, God. There we go. Okay, this time I got a couple lined up just like that. Okay, well, you know what? If I hit them, then I would have hit them, which would have been very nice. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm actually like... Making good time here. That was like, uh, how many was that? Six consecutive kills in all in a row there. That was a really nice little sequence, all things considered. This one's going well too. Ah, oh, there it is. The fact that I'm doing this challenge means that someday in the future, I'm going to have to do the yawn sensitivity challenge, which I'm not looking forward to at all, because you can just like barely move your mouse. It, it's just the complete opposite of this. I have to drag it all the way across my mouse pad multiple times to move like 90 degrees. How many times are you going to lag back? <laughs> I kept trying to aim downwards where that guy was going to land and he just like teleported back three times over. Drop down. Drop down. I dare you. I dare you. Do it. Actually, wait, is this the strat? Wait, it makes it so much easier to aim if I'm just zoomed in. It's really awkward to like move around properly because my zoom key, I use V on my keyboard. Oh God. Oh no, I, I don't think that's the strat. <laughs> it is funny though. I use V on my keyboard, which really makes it really hard to press uh, D properly and other keys and whatnot. What if I use my thumb? You can't actually see the keyboard with the way I have my camera set up, but trust me, this is really uncomfortable what I'm doing right now. <laughs> it's low key, like it, <laughs> it's, it, it, I can't speak. 